Uh, this is uh, India. They've just been having their uh, motorcycle show out there. And a lot of the Indian uh, motorcycle manufacturers have been, uh, because there's a mandate from the Indian government that they've got to start producing motorcycles that can run on alternative fuels uh, to fossil fuels, in other words. Uh, but there's not necessarily, there is like a, a parallel vision here, if you will to produce electric motorcycles, electric vehicles, but also to produce motorcycles that run on non-fossil fuels. And this is what I've been talking about for a long, long time. Electric isn't the only game in town, okay? I, I know there's a lot of people who would have you believe that for the future this is, but it's not the only game in town. It's not the only game in town. Uh, so, and I will dig into the comments in a little bit later on. But what I, what I wanted to raise here so you know they, they've the indian manufacturers uh have basically come out with or, or sorry the manufacturers that produce motorcycles for the indian market is probably a better and these include some indian manufacturers as well uh but this is the likes of uh, bajaj honda hero motor corp suzuki yamaha and tvs motor company they're producing motorcycles with their ethanol powered motorcycles so the honda xr3 uh 300 right and uh, that was that run off uh, ethanol it doesn't actually say how much of, of ethanol the tvs apache rtr 164 uh, 4v 4 valve uh and it, it it can run would you believe on a blend from 20 to 85 percent ethanol 20 to 85 percent ethanol right so these bikes are obviously purposely built. Everything, all the components are purposely built to run off this fuel. Now, if you consider in the UK right now, you either got E5 or E10. That's either 5% ethanol mix or a 10% ethanol mix, right? And a lot of the manufacturers are moving up towards a 10%. They're trying to push it up to a 20 to a 30% ethanol mix already, right? But these bikes are already coming out and saying, no, this can run up to 85% mix. The Bajaj Pulsar NS1, NS160, uh, that's, uh, yeah, it's E85. So a E85 compatible. Anything up to 85% ethanol. Yamaha Phaser FZ15, right? Would you believe, listen to this, 20% to 100% ethanol. This bike will run on 100% ethanol, right? Suzuki Gixxer uh, 250. Uh, da, 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 E85, 85%. And the Hero Glamour X Tech, 20 to 85%. Uh, so look, you know, ethanol. So as I say, it's, it's not the only game in town. Definitely not. Not the only game in town. How